jump on the bed this morning. My wife was not having it. Oh, that's she so tough. She was like, no jumping on this bed. What the mama say Serious to the little monkeys? jumping can be very dangerous. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys furiously jumping on the bed. Oh, One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the, the doctor, doctor said, said no, no more monkeys, monkeys furiously on jumping the on the bed. Okay, that's a little too many words and too well, we, that's, little, that's, little that's, time. that's how we have to say it. Got to speed it up. How we mm. got to speed it up? Speed it up. Mm. It's Friday. Okay. We made it. To what? You work tonight and you work tomorrow. What did you make it to exactly? <laughs> Why are you excited? It's Friday. Would you like to be rewarded with two games between a Portland Trailblazers team that's lost nine in a row and also has no one playing for them? Well, good news. Good, good news. Aren't you going to ask my Friday song? Je Jessica, you were talking. I'm trying to honor Women's History Month and honor you as a woman and let you finish oh, your thoughts. That's Matt. what I'm trying to do. It's so sweet. I'm but so no, used to it. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm so used to it. Okay, now I'm more comfortable. Now I'm more comfortable. Now it's like it is. Da, da, da. What was the song? It was Everyday People. I Fly in the family song. Everyday, everyday People. Okay. Did you go back and listen to speaking the song? Scooby-Dooby-Dooby. Oh, gosh. You're that way today. From different strokes. Did did you go back and listen to the Michael Jackson song I told you about yesterday? No. Oh, God. The Free Willy one? Yes, you are not long. <laughs> don't call it. Michael Jackson, don't call it a Free Willy. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you are oh, not so alone. I'm in my place today, but you're already making those jokes. What do you mean? Serious jumping. You, Free I, Willy. I, I, <laughs> Gosh. There might be a Michael Jackson song on my draft coming up. Ooh. Ooh, exciting. It is Friday, everybody. It is a new month. We made it March 1st. It's going to be a good day. Jessica Benson with you from the Grind City Media Studios in Memphis, Tennessee. CJ Hurt behind the glass. Coming up on today's show, March means March Madness and the Memphis Tigers will attempt to pull off a miracle. They got a win last night at East Carolina. We'll talk about it. March also means 23 games remain for the Memphis Grizzlies this season. They've got two in a row this weekend against the Portland Trailblazers. Just wait until you see the injury report. Lang Whitaker will join us about 20 minutes in to talk Grizz. We'll also get his take on the college football playoff, potentially exploring going to 14 teams instead of 12. We also have big basketball news with Caitlin Clark announcing that she will not return to Iowa next season. She will indeed be going pro, joining the WNBA. She will be going likely to the Indiana Fever. We'll get into all of that. And then in honor of Music Friday, we're doing a draft on a Friday and we are going to draft outside songs. What does that mean? I don't know. It's provocative, but it's going to be 75 and sunny on Sunday. And I want a playlist that gets me into the weekend to appropriately celebrate. We will have some fun. It's the end of the week. Let's go. Johnson live Saturday, April 13th at FedEx Forum, country's best. The Leather Tour with Cody Johnson, with special guest Justin Moore, also featuring Drake Milligan. VIP and reserve seats on sale at Ticketmaster.com in the FedEx Forum box office. Cody Johnson. You know, it's always great playing here whenever I did play here. Coming back, it was one of the reasons why I chose to come back here. Yes, and Rose sniping the steal. Goes up against Murray and scores. I love the atmosphere. I love the arena. Fast break basketball. Roddy, love the air. FedEx Farm is rocking. I want to be a part of it, so that's one of the reasons why I can. We're going dancing. Welcome to Fandom 101. We need you going crazy in the stands. Oh! Your path to fan mastery begins here. It's all part of the curriculum. The NCAA Division I men's basketball first and second rounds this March in Memphis, Tennessee. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash MVB tickets. Class dismissed. Justin Timberlake. The Forget Tomorrow World Tour. Live in Memphis. Justin Timberlake. 
FedEx Forum, Saturday, November 23rd. Get tickets this Thursday at 10 a.m. at LiveNation.com. The brand new single, Selfish, is available to stream and download now. For more, hit up JustinTimberlake.com. Don't worry, be fluffy world tour. The minute you get into a brand new relationship, like magic, you know who really notices just how happy you are, guys? Other women, not your woman. Look how happy he is. Oh, I bet I can change that. Friday, May 10th, FedEx Forum. Get your tickets now at fluffyguy.com. Don't miss a Memphis. Don't worry, be fluffy world tour. Memphis. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Woo! Friday Night Smackdown is where it's at. Live in Memphis, Friday, March 15th. Tickets and ringsider packages on sale now. Presents the Jessica Benson Show with CJ Hurt. Live from the Grind City Media Studios on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app. What's up, everybody? It is Friday. Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Is that an outside song? Yeah. That would be an outside song. Shout out Rebecca Black. She's doing it. Apparently she has new music, according to Kandari in the chat. I'm in the, I'm in the best mood today. Wow. Because it's Friday. And because, and, and, I know I still work, but I, I am so lucky, CJ, that my work includes getting to come on down to FedEx Forum, Federal Express Forum, and watch the Memphis Grizzlies play two games against the Portland Trailblazers this week, surrounded by all my pals, and get a Jaha Hawaiian shirt, and get a little Grizz. Oh, we need the little Grizz. We need it. You have it. It's on me. I'm sorry. I was too busy spending my morning jamming to outdoor songs. Songs that just put you in a good mood. We're going to draft them later on in the show. I also oh, got to go get it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for being so kind to women on the first day of Women's History Month. Your kindness is appreciated and noted. I love March. I get really excited about March. Um, obviously because of March madness. I think March is just a good month. It, it shifts us into closer to spring here in Memphis. We're going to have really nice weather this weekend. And March has marched. I did a very interesting thing last night. It's very weird when CJ leaves the room because I feel like I'm talking to myself or just talking to all of you. But I did an interesting thing last night where I never turned on the TV, which... I never do, but Chris and I are dog sitting and we were dog sitting separately for the night because we we're watching two different dog houses. And so I did not have to watch the Warriors beat the Knicks on TNT. I was a little bit bummed that the Spurs Thunder game was not nationally televised because I would have loved to watch Alien Basketball starring Victor Webinyama and Chet Holmgren. And the Spurs obviously won last night. Some of those Victor Webinyama plays are just Absurd. Like they, at this point, they don't get old, but I have a feeling when the Spurs are taking over the league and never losing because nobody can do anything about Victor Webinyama, it will feel a little less uh, electric at some point in our NBA viewing life. But so I never turn on the TV. I read a book, like a loser, but I wanted to try and read this book. I'm reading a book called Hello Beautiful. That's beside the point. I did not watch Memphis ECU because I told myself I didn't have to because it came in February on a leap day. The 29th of February, we only get it every four years, and things that happen on a leap day just go poof, they disappear into the great abyss, that is, and we never think about them again. But for the Memphis Tigers, a win on February 29th matters in the long view, but does it matter, matter? No, what happens in March is about to be what matters for the Memphis Tigers. All that mattered to me was, did Memphis win the game? Yes, 
Memphis beat East Carolina 82 to 58, a 24 point win over a team that they should have beaten by 20 plus. And that is what you love to see from a Memphis team that is trying to shoot for a miracle and see CJ Hurt re enters the studio. Do you believe in miracles, CJ? It is a question that we about will be asking what? about the Memphis Tigers. What's the miracle? Getting to the NCAA tournament after a no, six game stretch no, in the middle of the season that the looked miracle. like everything was going to hell. By the way, I took some candy for a tax. Tax payment. You're welcome. Um, you're, you're welcome. It's my I birthday did, candy. I did you the solid to get the Grizz theme. You did do. Me um, solid. I appreciate it. The miracle is getting to the Elite Eight Final Four. If you told me it to start the season, hey, the, 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 the bar is Sweet 16, and then you tell me when you get ranked in the top 10, hey, we're supposed to go to the Sweet 16. Guess what? It's not a miracle to get into the tournament. If they don't make the tournament, this season is terribly disappointing. If they get to the tournament and get bounced in the tournament, guess what? This season is still terribly disappointing. Right, but life happens. And as life happened for the Memphis Tigers, we got to a point where three weeks ago, it was all but closing the lid on Memphis. Is it open? Yes. I know it's not like hell that shit it's is It's even open. further than cracked. After last night's win, 24 points, because style points matter when it comes to the net, they're up to 72. 72 in the net rankings. They're 6-5 and five in quad 1 and 2 opportunities. Last night's win was a quad 3, so they are now 15-3 and three in quad 3 and 4. They're 72 in the net. They're 72 in Ken Palm. They have two games left in the regular season, Sunday against UAB, and then next Saturday they'll go on the road and have another crack at FAU. And then they'll go into the AAC tournament. And yes, the, the best way for Memphis and any team that is on the bubble of the NCAA tournament to ensure that they have a place in the NCAA tournament is to win their conference tournament. But what I see with my eyes, which is different than three weeks ago, is a team that could win the AAC tournament. Frankly, should win the AAC tournament. Half the battle is looking the part. And Penny Hardaway talked about it after the win last night. This has looked, over this last three stretch of games, Charlotte, FAU, and ECU, like a team that can be in the NCAA tournament. Hell, the ESPN broadcast last night said, this looks like an NCAA tournament team if they keep winning. When you have Naquan Tomlin putting up 20 and 7, 20 and 8, when you have David Jones, 18 and 10, when Javon Quinterly is running that offense, he had seven or eight assists last night, making better passes, making better reads, not turning the ball over as much. Suddenly this team looks to be the team with all the talent in the world playing together like a team. And that is why I choose to believe because hell, on March 1st, it's way more fun to believe that they can do it than they can't because it gives us something to grasp onto for the next couple of weeks. I wanna believe. Do it. Fine. Do it. Fine. That's that's that. What I the can't hell? do it. We can't believe in like belief doesn't win you games. Belief doesn't win you championships. Belief doesn't get you to Sweet 16s, Elite Eights, Final Fours. Belief alone doesn't get you wins in the national championship game. It's a story. Belief alone does not get banners raised in your stadium. You have it's to. You have to do it. Do it. We can't act like the, the three weeks ago didn't happen. Right now, Memphis is, isn't no is nowhere near. I guess they they might be near the bubble. What is near the bubble? Last twelve teams is that near the bubble? Sure. Because maybe they're there. They're not last four out. They're not next four out. Are they in the next twelve? Are they in the next sixteen? We shouldn't be having this conversation. We shouldn't, because they did the work in the out of conference and they got in conference and squandered it all, all of it, again. Like I can't keep saying this. Do it. If the goal was Sweet 16 to start the season and all the way till January, the goal was Sweet 16, why the hell are we moving the goalposts now? Why now is it, oh, they can get into the tournament and everybody's supposed to feel good? No. No, it's still a wasted season. It's still a bad season. If they make it to the NCAA tournament. It's a tournament, bad season. No, it is not. Yes, it is. No, it's a it's horrible not. bad season. Yes, it is. Considering what it could have been, things it change. It could have been worse. We do not it been live worse. in a bubble. Getting to, getting to the tournament is absolutely better than not getting Correct. to the tournament. Period. That doesn't mean getting to the tournament is any good. Mm. That That's, that's mm. just not what it is. I think considering where things stood, a turnaround at this point, 
It's not moving the b goalpost, it's adjusting expectations. What do you mean where things stood? Where they stood in that six game stretch where this team looked like it was going, what, where it felt when they went into SMU and died. Tell me how it felt after beating Virginia. Coming Good. off that stretch. Again, and tell me what the goal was then. Tell me what it was that. Change. What was that? They were a top 10 team, CJ. They yeah. were a top 10 team that not? then fell out of the top 25. So we just supposed to ignore that like entirely? Completely. I'm not ignoring it. I'm saying that that, all of that, stir it up in the pot, creates the soup of this season. I don't know why we went with soup Which season. is really gross. This season is sure, gross. This, this season, season has not only really had moments of absolute grossness. This season is going to leave a bad aftertaste in everybody's mouth. And you're telling me, I disagree. Hey, if, I think if they if sprinkle they make some the salt on it, it's going to be tasty. A little hot sauce can go a long way. Oh. A little hot sauce in March can go a long way. And listen, maybe we are looking at a team that is has found itself, has found its chemistry. Obviously, they continue to deal with the Malcolm Dandridge situation, uh, what his status will be moving forward. But they've now won two games without him. And they have put together a run that allows you to think that they could, per chance, capture a top four seed in the AAC tournament. Maybe they get the double bye. Maybe that helps them in their quest to win the AAC, but you'll have a chance to avenge a very bad loss to UAB when you face the Blazers again this weekend, and you could have a chance to go 2-0 and against FAU during the regular season. And I know FAU has fallen kaput. What is FAU? I don't know. They're a team that made it to the Final Four last year that returned almost all their talent that has underperformed. That's the AAC that you live in, baby. That's just what it's going to be. But if they do that, they go into the AAC tournament on what would be a five-game winning streak, and they're already in their tournament. They're already playing. March Madness is now for the Memphis Tigers. And listen, that team, how many times this year have we said, how can they have all this talent and be so bad? Well, now they have all this talent, and they're looking like a good team again. They are. That's looking just a like fact. a good team against what? Against when you're East winning Carolina? by 24, that is what good teams winning do by 20, against, bad against teams. East Carolina. Yes. That's where the season is right now. Sure. Where we're supposed to be, yay, they beat the hell out of East Carolina. And they, they beat a, a Florida Atlantic team who's also having a bad, disappointing year, right? Who very clearly should not have been ranked mm -hmm. in the top 25 for most of the year. They're beating them. Yes. Have they beat somebody good in that conference? Have the, who's, who's the best team in that conference? South Florida. Have they beat them? No, they lost by one. They, 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 they almost beat them. So let's, let's, feel, let's feel good about almost beating South Florida and beating the hell out of East Carolina. Yeah. And, 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 and potentially sweeping... Uh, a Florida Atlantic team that's nowhere near as good as what we thought they were and maybe just maybe winning the conference tournament and sneaking into the postseason, into the big dance. That's what we're talking about. Doing. No, that's, that is ridiculous. I get what you're saying. I understand right. that. The, they are looking much better right now than they did during that losing streak. Yes. I understand that. But that losing streak happened. It Correct. doesn't matter how good they looked right now. Because that losing streak happened, and now they're fighting for their postseason lives with every single game they have to play. And it was not supposed to be that. It should not have been that. They played. They underperformed severely this season. Listen. Because of that losing streak, all the goodwill has got, is, for me, is gone. Getting to the tournament is not enough. Getting to the round of 32 is still not enough. Get to the Sweet 16, and all, all will be forgiven. A Sweet 16 run, all is forgiven. I hope that we're talking about a Sweet 16 run. And I will start the month of March with my favorite poem of all time, a poem by a man named David Barrett. And it goes, the ball is tipped and there you are. You're running for your life. You're a shooting star. And all the years, no one knows just how hard you worked. But now it shows in one shining moment, it's all there in time. That doesn't get you excited. Oh, that's my, no, that's an inside song because it's played in an arena during the Final Four. You cannot call One Shining Moment an outside song because basketball is a game that is played inside and that song is directly attached to the sport of basketball and nothing else. Although we did play it at our wedding. <laughs> Would you make it an outside song? No, but it does make you feel good, doesn't it? Did Kelsey it? just make us her parents? She made us her kids first. She doesn't I'm like confused. when the kids fight. And I was like, wait, what? And then she said, okay, you're right. She made us her parents parents which is taking this whole work spouse thing too way far, too far too, way too far. far i did not ask for I, this i don't i, I don't want to I, I don't want to be your work husband i can't 
express that enough. And I sure as hell, no disrespect to the great Kelsey Wright Johnson, who does a lot of wonderful work. I don't think we can be her parents. I, I can't make white Canadian children like they don't come from me. That's not where they come from. I'm sorry. I'm not your daddy. Can't be it. I can't be your work father. I am not your mother. <laughs> I can't be. Whew, the Grind City Media family. They're making too many connections. Oh, are we a family? I don't like that we either. No. That's our side song? Is that outside I song? I think so. Okay. I got all my sisters and me for Women's History Month. Okay. Yeah. I feel like this is going to be a very karaoke filled it, show. It, it shouldn't be. It's really on, on the You're road again. You're doing all the singing. <laughs> da, 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 on the road again. Hey, if you come to the Grizzlies game tonight, may I interest you in Little Grizz? I actually love this. Someone tried to take this from me yesterday. They're like, oh, I'd love to give this to my kid. I said, mm. I kind of like to keep it for myself this time. <laughs> this is Little Grizz. It's Grizz's birthday. Happy birthday, Grizz. And we will celebrate with Lil Grizz tonight as the Memphis Grizzlies take on the Portland Trailblazers. Hey, before we take a break and get to Lang Whitaker, can we pull up the uh, Tankathon? Because I promised every Grizzlies game day we would do our own version of Groundhog Day. I said Grizzlies game day. Was yesterday a Grizzlies game day? Was yesterday a Grizzlies game day? It wasn't. You said Every game Grizzlies day. game we day, forgot. we have 23 left of them this season. We will do a simulation lottery to celebrate where we think the Grizzlies could pick in this year's NBA draft lottery on May 12th. Hit the button, Jacob. What kind of day are we going to have? Number one! Let's go. Let's go. The crowd goes wild. What happens? Woo! What happens with the, with the one pick? You GM package, Jessica. You package that puppy up. And get what? And you say, give me your best, give me your LeBron James. You're, give you, me the best player. You, <laughs> give me Nikola Jokic. <laughs> Legit Can you imagine you're a, a Jokic Jaron backcourt? Who says no? I mean, frontcourt? Oh, Who says no? The rock, backcourt? I say no. Backcourt? You know, Jaron's playmaking. It's taken so many strides forward. <laughs> Still doesn't move laterally well enough to be in I the backcourt. I take Jokic in the frontcourt. Give me, in give the, me the Jokic front court. in the backcourt. Okay. His handles aren't aren't good enough either to yeah, be in the front. They're growing. In the backcourt. They're growing. They're, they're great for a frontcourt player. Wow, I can't believe we got the number one pick today. Just like of, the groundhog. You, recklessly speculating, you think if the Grizzlies offered the one for LeBron James, the Lakers would too? <laughs> no. <laughs> you sure? Maybe, is it the number one pick? And I never like to package players because it makes me sad. <laughs> but is it number one pick and Jake LaRavia for LeBron James? Who says no? Everyone. <laughs> 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 number one pick: Luke Kennard, Jake LaRavia, Zaire Williams, and Lil Grizz. <laughs> I say no. I want a little grizz. I know, right? It's hard to give him away. Give him a, a Stephen Adams Hawaiian shirt. He's no longer on the team. We got the job Hawaiian shirts now. So oh, I can't wait for the Hawaiian shirts. Mm. All right, we'll take a quick break. Lang Whitaker is going to join us on the other side. We'll ask him what the Grizzlies should do with this fantasy number one pick we just created using Tankathon today. Twenty three games remain in the Memphis Grizzlies season. That's one thousand one hundred and four minutes of Grizzlies basketball to get us through the rest of the twenty twenty three twenty twenty four. NBA season. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with Lang Whitaker on the other side. Let's face it. There's a lot of trash talk in basketball, but the great teams let their performance do the talking. Like Ford F-150 with Pro Power on board, a class exclusive industry first feature that turns your truck into a mobile generator and leaves the competition speechless. Ford F-150, official truck of the Grizzlies. Greatness starts here at your Mid-South Ford dealer. Classes full-size pickups under 8,500 pounds, GBWR. We know there's only one team you want to watch, and Bally Sports is the place to get your Grizzlies. Experience the comebacks, the buzzer beaters, the can't-miss Memphis-made moments, live. Bally Sports keeps the grind going before and after the game, too, with Pete, Brevin, Fish and Chris on Grizzlies Live. Watch Grizzlies basketball all season long with Valley Sports and streaming on the Valley Sports app. Valley Sports, home of the only team you want to watch. Life Care Ambulance is proud to be an official partner of the Memphis Grizzlies and FedEx Forum. At Life Care, they wear their hearts with pride. Their passion is their people. They want you to love what you do and where you do it. Their employee-driven culture encourages a healthy work-life balance and supportive work environment. 
They invest in your success and well-being so that you can provide the best care for the patients that they serve. Join the incredible team of EMTs and paramedics in Memphis, Nashville, and across the nation today. Learn more at lifecareamb.com. It's more fun to be there live to see the Memphis Grizzlies hit the court all season long. From the electricity and FedEx Forum to the highlight reel plays, there's nothing quite like Grizzlies basketball. As the official marketplace of the Memphis Grizzlies, Ticketmaster gets you in with a huge selection of seats. So get off the couch and into the stands while you still can. Score tickets today at Ticketmaster.com. That's Ticketmaster.com. Anticipate each challenge, make a quick response, capitalize on every opportunity, and win. Greatness won't wait. It's true in basketball. It's true in banking. Grizzlies checking from Pinnacle. Play hard. Bank easy. Open a Grizzlies checking account with at least $100 and a recurring direct deposit by April 30th, and you could receive a $200 direct deposit bonus into your account. Details at grizzliesbanking.com. Member FDIC. I think it might be unfair a little bit to just make an album trashing him. Because what is he going to do? Make a crappy movie trashing her? You know like, what I would do? Huh? I would write songs about her. I think, well, he's an actor, right? Yeah, I don't care. I'd just write bad songs about her. I'd just be like, and you were tall with long legs, but I hated your guts because you were so mean. Nobody really knows how awful you are. I just write bad. If you're going to write bad songs about me, I'm going to write bad okay. songs about you. Okay. The Gary Paris Show, live weekdays at 10 a.m. on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app. You know, it's always great playing here whenever I did play here. Coming back, it was one of the reasons why I chose to come back here. Yes, and Rose sniping the steal. Goes up against Murray and scores. I love the atmosphere. I love the arena. Fast break basketball. Roddy, Lillard is in the air. is rocking. I want to be a part of it, so that's one of the reasons why I came Friday. Yes, that means Lang Whitaker joins us. Lang, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Oh, it's Friday. I'm so excited to spend the next two nights with you watching the Grizzlies take on the Portland Trailblazers. I feel like you're not being altogether earnest with that statement. I don't know. I'm intrigued. (laughs) With what? Have you seen the Grizzlies injury report? Yeah. (laughs) Let's show it to the people who perhaps have not. They had to stop using first names because it was too so long. Mm -hmm. Like I think they were running out of characters, even in the image. Right. Yeah. Well, especially with the the actual injuries themselves, make it quite the long yeah. line. Like right quad tendon soreness. Aspe- oh. So it's just Jay Jackson Jr. Yeah. And like even Marcus Smart's right ring finger central slip tear. Yeah. That's a lot of a lot of words. Uh, Scotty Pippen Jr. with the lumbar disc bulge. Yeah. We talk about bulging discs often with injuries. Uh, but obviously the news there is that Jaron Jackson Jr. is out, out tonight. First night of a back-to-back. We'll see what that means tomorrow. Uh, Conchar and Kennard are both out. doubtful, oh, which doubtful. usually means out. Was Gigi, right? And Gigi Jackson yeah. is questionable. Derrick Rose also out. So this leaves an assortment of players. But I will say on the flip side, the Portland Trailblazers don't have anyone either. Yeah. Like They've lost nine games in a row. Scoot Henderson hurt his abductor at the Rising Stars game. He's out at least another three yeah. games. DeAndre Ayton is doubtful for tonight. Uh, they've been without Malcolm Brogdon. They've been without... They're tanking. Yes. They're not trying to win yeah. the games. Who's So let's try to figure out who's the Grizzlies lineup going to be tonight. Jordan Goodwin, starting point guard again. Lamar Stevens will probably start. Oh, good. The person, there's a guy on threads who, I, I hope he's watching. You're still on threads? He, yeah, I am. I'm, right. I'm trying my best. Um, trying to stay. You know, you never want to be behind the next big social media thing. At this point, it's nice. Yeah. 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 Anyway, he, he loves too. Lamar Stevens, and he's been so mad at Lamar Stevens not getting more minutes. And this could be the night that Lamar well, Stevens hey, is forced to play those, all the those minutes. Those two guys are healthy. Santi's Santi, healthy. Vince. Yeah, Vince. Consistent Vince. Uh, Gigi's questionable, but he'll probably play. So, because he's on the, the top I would tier. imagine, yeah. So, Gigi, that's five, six guys right there. Uh, Lara- Jake Laravia. Jake Hurt. Matthew Hurt. Matthew Hurt. Uh, Yuta. Yuta. Oh, and Zaire. Oh, Zaire, yeah. Well, that's nine Forgot right about there. Zaire. There's your nine-man rotation. Yeah, you're good. 
You still, you're still fielding a team. Who's your point guard? You're good. You're, you're Gucci against this Portland Trailblazers Vince team. Williams Give me the Grizzlies. Point guard, I guess starting point guard. No, Jordan Goodwin. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then Vince would like be the backup. Secondary. Yeah. Right. All right. All right. What's your prediction for the you Grizzlies this weekend? We, <laughs> we've no got idea, something. Man. Something. I, no I was listening to the Vernon show talk yeah. about this yesterday. It was one of their fill in the blanks. Like, give me one reason you're still watching the Grizzlies this season. It's my because job. not because it's oh. your job, right? Okay. Like if it wasn't your job, what would be one thing yeah. that you're hanging on to? I'm now at the part like I've seen enough. <laughs> the development of Vince and Gigi. Yeah, we know. Vince. We know. And, and Gigi, like, he's had ups and downs now at this point, as yeah. one would expect from a nineteen year old, the youngest player in the NBA. Jaron Jackson Jr., who won't play tonight, but I would assume he will play tomorrow because he needs to play 11 more games yeah, to be 65. eligible for end-of-season awards. Yeah. And I do think there is validity in being excited about watching that, especially after he's coming off maybe his best game of the season so against the Timberwolves. you're excited about just watching how many games he plays? I'm excited <laughs> about continuing to watch Jaron Jackson Jr. And from a standpoint of, and I heard m- multiple people talking about this coming out of the Timberwolves game, like, does Jaron have any chance, in your eyes, and I'll ask you the question, yeah of proving that he could be the starting center for this team next year to play at the five. I think he's already proven that. That you don't need a, a true center next to – like when it comes to filling the well, blanks no, no, of I mean, you need someone who front can court with Jaron. Right, but, but he comes off a game with 13 rebounds. Is that perhaps a deficiency that he's improving No, it, that's just a matchup. Okay. You know, I think Jaron's one of the best three-point shooters on this team. He's going to spend a lot of time on the three-point line, so he's not mm-hmm. going to spend a lot of time under the right. basket. So somebody's got a rebound. If it's the center, if it's the power forward, whoever it is, mm-hmm. I think it's more defensively what you're asking of Jaron. Can he guard bigs? And like the way we watch the NBA now, it cha- you know I was I was just watching this morning the highlights of the Spurs uh, Thunder the game Wimby last check night. Game. Yeah, and and Wimby pulled up from the logo like at, just cross half court with like three and a half minutes to go. Like that dude's seven foot five. Like mm-hmm. the center is going to probably be guarding that guy, and he's shooting three pointers from thirty feet. Like you don't have to be a seven foot one, three hundred pound guy right. anymore to be a center. You just need to be tall enough to to match up on those mm-hmm. guys. So I. I I don't think Jaron needs to be able to prove that he can bang in the post or, you know, set a screen solidly or whatever. I mean, Nick Claxton's this guy everyone's talking about as this, like, great center now. He's a skinny guy, too. You right. Know? Like, That's Jaren where I always, totally in, be a center. in those conversations, I trend more towards an Andre Drummond, which is yeah. the other side of that he's, coin. He's the unicorn now. Andre Drummond is, right. the, you know, there's very few Andre Drummonds anymore in the NBA. Yeah, and you're not going to get... There are even fewer, like a true Stephen Adams yeah. or even a Jonas Valanciunas who was yeah. that for the Grizzlies before Stephen Adams was that for the Grizzlies. And so it's it's figuring out how to continue to adapt. But I do think looking back at, you know, FIBA last summer yeah. and Steve Kerr having to learn the hard way of running with Jaron at the five, it's, it's intriguing. They would love, that would solve a lot of problems if Jaron yeah. was the obvious answer at five and if Brandon Clark comes back from his Achilles injury and he is the exact same version or very, very close to the yeah. version of Brandon Clark that we had previously. To play the four. To play the four, right. Yeah. I, the other issue with, like, with Jaron the rest of the season is, like, he's not playing with the people he's going to play with next season. You yes. know, he, even rotationally, he's not going to be – even if he's on the court with guys who will be on the mm-hmm. Grizzlies next year, he's not on the court with John Morant, Marcus Smart, Desmond Bain. You know, the guys who are going to take the bulk of the shots and who he's going to have to learn how to share the ball with or run plays with and all that stuff. So it's not really that useful to see him out there the last – whatever, how many 15, 24 games are left. Um, unless we can see him play with those guys, and, and those guys aren't coming back mm-hmm. this year. So I, I feel like it's more like, you know, let's get him his 65 games. It's fun to watch him play in these games because he can just kind of play point guard and do whatever he yeah. wants and it doesn't really matter. But I, I the, the, the person I've enjoyed watching randomly the last two weeks is Lamar Stevens. Because Me too. Because and the mine on threads. He's the one guy. <laughs> Lamar Stevens is the one guy who who goes to the mid range and he's money every single time. His turnaround yeah. is just anywhere like bank fourteen bank. to sixteen yeah. feet. Anywhere in there, he does not miss. And he'll get to, he'll get the ball in the post, back up a little bit, clear up a little space, and hit that mid range jump shot. And it's money every single time. So many. This whole team, you know, the whole offense is driving kick, driving kick, driving kick. Finally, we got a guy who just drives mm-hmm. and stops and shoots the little shot, and right. it kind of connects the inside of the outside. I like watching Lamar. Sanders. And defensively, he's been yeah. really solid. And and that's where you start thinking to yourself, okay, could this be an end of the bench guy sure. next year for yeah. the Grizzlies? And so far, he has shown reason to believe that he could be. Yes, CJ. 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, I'm not I thought you had. No, I'm not. I'm not going to add to this okay. topic I, at well, all. I want to ask you thought. because well, we now are if we're doing... changing topics. I got a question. To Is ask it still you Grizzlies people. related? Yes, it's Grizzlies okay. related. Y'all are talking about Jaron playing 11 more games to so he's up for NBA. Honors. What honors is he up for? All Second defensive team, all team. defensive team. You think he could get all defense still? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I do think it's very competitive. I mean, especially even with the rookies, with both. Yeah. We just mentioned them. Victor Webanyama, Chet Holmgren. Rudy Gobert is going to be yeah, most it's, likely it's your defensive player though, right? of the year. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's so positionless. It but just there's just a it. lot of. Yeah. I had a list up. Uh, Brooke Lopez, Bam, Jared Allen, Anthony Davis. Yeah, and the, I, I think Jaron's pretty clearly in the top ten of any list of defenders you're going to put together. I'm not sure. He's still yeah. top fifteen in the league in blocks per game. He ranks in the top seventy percent of his position and percent of, of opponent shot blocks. Also, like, look, the Grizzlies' record is going to like probably be the biggest argument against. Correct. Him. Yeah, like, <laughs> like that. Let's be frank. Did like, he help his team win games? No, no because they can't. Yeah, they, they're, they're not trying to win games. It seems like. So. Yeah, we were doing a, or we are doing an exercise where every Grizzlies game yeah. for the rest of the season, when we have a show, we celebrate by doing a tankathon draft simulation right. to see what pick the Grizzlies would get in this fake draft of right. the day. Today was number one, so it's going to oh, be a good nice. day. It's kind of like Groundhog's Day. Like, is it spring? Is yesterday it not? Was, no, yesterday was leap year. Well, day. Yesterday yeah. was a leap day, so it doesn't count. It's gone. Poof. Yep. If the Grizzlies do get the number one oh, pick boy. at the draft lottery. What do you say they do? Sitting here on March first, and I'm not no going to hold you to what I would you say, say today. Either, I, there's to me, like from what I understand about the draft, I have not researched heavily or anything. There's not like a, you know, transformational number one player right. that everyone's talking about. It is considered a down yeah ish year. That being said, like generally rookies are a little bit better than you think they're going to be transitioning to the NBA. I mean, even look at Wimby and Chet this year. Like, those guys are putting up numbers, too. So, mm -hmm. you could get someone, I think, useful. Uh, the problem is what the Grizzlies need, looking at the roster construction, is some sort of a big player. And I don't know who that is. I know there's a guy, Saar, the French player that people are talking about would be a good fit. Um, Cooper Flagg is coming up, what, next year? That's next year. Yeah, yeah. so, like, that's the guy, like, I know a year from now everyone's talking about. This year, I, I don't know. Maybe... I have no idea. Trade it? I don't know. Grizzlies, Grizzlies get the number one pick. What do we do at the draft party? CJ, you have oh so gosh. much. To, you have so much to build oh upon from goodness. last year. The thing is, is we would be towards the end of the draft. Like there is no way that yeah. they would allow you to be in front of a microphone at the moment that the Why? Grizzlies have the number one pick. Because you were doing we were, shots last they year. They would save we're you. Really they energetic, save you though. <laughs> they were energetic shots, Lane. <laughs> we were there. It was good stuff. Yeah. Spit us up first. Let us break down the Grizzlies getting the number one number one overall pick and who they take or what they do with it. You'll break it down, Jessica, mm -hmm. with Mike and Lang, and then I'll be there knocking shots back in celebration like all of Grizz Nation will. Yeah. Maybe with a shirt on. Maybe not. Probably not. Well, we have a bunch of second-round picks. That's probably when they'd have us on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> that would be there, the wait, end of the wait, row. wait. Isn't that supposed to be a third round this year? That's uh, when we come on. No, 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 isn't that next year? No, next year they're going to add They're going to change the days. It's like yeah. first and second round. Do you like that? No, I don't know. Whatever. We're second half of the second night. Yeah, I, we're I, the end, no matter what. Just let's be clear. Like, I'm we will to, be there with you at the end. <laughs> I've been to a bunch of NBA drafts, and I think, like, if they have a second round its own night, like, mm -hmm. no one's going to show up. For, like, what fans are going to come to that? <laughs> you know? like. Yeah. The fans that come to the first round now, they do it in the Barclays Center, and it's it they fill up like the lower bowl maybe, but no one's in the upper deck. But the second round, like that's going to be a uh, a rowdy, a real group. die hard, yes. die hard rowdy group. Uh, before we move on to college football, I would say yeah. uh, this thought crossed my mind this morning when I was watching highlights from games last night. Like, we play the Trailblazers tonight. Yep. They stink. They're not trying to win games. They've lost nine in a row. It's the worst losing streak in the West. Not the worst losing streak in the NBA right now. That's 13 for the Washington Wizards. Yeah. Poor Tyus Jones. If the Wizards, like, I also poor, saw that. Poor Tyus Jones. Forced <coughs> if, to live in wizard purgatory this year. He wanted to be year. a starter. Yeah, Why are we poor Tyus Jones in this? He could have been here playing starter oh minutes. He it's wanted to be good, a starter. It's such a good lesson of sometimes. Don't play with Jordan Poole. <laughs> and Kyle Kuzma. Yeah. 
<laughs> are you an NBA player? Maybe try to avoid those two things in I your life, even if it means if being they a get starter. To 24, isn't that the number that the Pistons had earlier this year, losing streak? Uh, 28. Don't discredit. Uh, if it gets to the, whatever it is, they'll be playing the Pistons playing Detroit, on that game. Yeah. I know. These are the little things on the losing side, on the tankathon side right. of things that you look out for. That's the game. If that happens, that's the game Mississippi Valley State's oh, broadcast yes. need to be on. They have to. Yeah. I mean, obviously, a lot has to go into that. The Wizards have to lose for another 14 two more games, which, which they could. Yeah. They are built to do. They yeah. are built different. They Give could chase the 28-game losing streak from the Pistons. Anyway, I just saw Tyus up there on my screen. I was like, oh, poor, poor Tyus. It's like the devil comes up and it's like, hey, Tyus, you can be a starter, but yeah. you have to play with Jordan Poole and Kyle Kuzma and the Washington Wizards. He's like, oh, it's been a life dream. I have the opportunity. I get I get the money. Yeah. Okay, sure. And then you realize deals with the to, devil are not always I, I all they're cracked up to be. Yeah, yeah, I thought he'd be oh, yeah. moved somewhere, and, and he didn't. Yeah, CJ, that was a line. Deals with the devil are what when, they're always cracked when up has to be. When has a deal with the devil ever been <laughs> good for you. the person <laughs> making the deal? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure there's something we've when? never heard about. When? Those people don't want you to know that they made the deal with the devil. They just Lil go about Dick, their lives. Little Dicky was bad. Uh, 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 Robert uh, Johnson? What was that the... worked out all right for Robert Johnson. No, but then he died. Did he? Did I mean, he he's die? still famous. We still talk about him as a great guitar player. Devil's he Advocate died. didn't work out <laughs> either. Yeah, that didn't work out. Uh, what's the what's the baseball movie? Damn Yankees. Yeah, damn Yankees. Not baseball movie, the theater play. Thing. It is. A, it's a baseball yeah, musical. Baseball, whatever the hell it is. Good job. Damn Yankees. It didn't work no. out. It never works out when you make a deal with the devil. Little Johnny. Bedazzled. Do you remember Bedazzled? I do yeah. remember Bedazzled. Okay, speaking of Bedazzled, real quick, Elizabeth Hurley. Uh, Oscar, didn't he? Not for Bedazzled. Not for Bedazzled. No, later, like it worked out for him down the road. Yeah, Brandon Fraser's back. He pops up. He always looks yeah. like he's about to cry. It yeah. kind of hurts me, but it's, it's nice to see. So Liz Hurley <laughs> is doing a new movie, and I saw it on page six, and the pictures used are she her. She did a deal with the devil. Sure. Have you seen her Instagram account? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, okay, this movie's included in that. She's doing a movie, and the pictures, I can't even show them on the show, but it's like her and this other woman making out and getting all touchy-feely. And the page six headline is Elizabeth Hurley gets hot and heavy with another woman in trailer for her son Damien's movie, Strictly Confidential. Also, she named her son Damien. Yeah, there Red we flag go. number that, one. That's probably deal number with two, the devil right there. Can yeah. you imagine doing a like love scene for your son's movie? Well, if if your son's <laughs> <laughs> don't you think the son would rather her have a have a love scene with a woman than a, a dude? Lang, That's which so one, Lang, creepy. Lang, which one would you rather have? have? <laughs> You're the director, Lang. Would you rather That's your mom so make out with a chick or make out with a dude? Yeah, probably not a dude. <laughs> I saw this and I just wanted probably, to. I would probably be like, I'd rather you not make out with another guy. I, you know, not my dad. I'd rather have you make out with someone else. I saw so many people being like, Oh my God, Liz Hurley looks great, Liz. And then someone just said. I'm sorry, did we all miss the part where it says her son's yeah. movie? Like, before I let you go, I, ca I can't let you go without asking you about this college I don't football. I asked me about farting or burping. What do you think is grosser? Farting, easily. Somebody reached out to me very angry and was like, I watch your show every day, but yeah. that was a line that yeah, people, I could not get on. We, yeah. I've gotten in trouble at 56. Like, <laughs> we like, get, people get really, really squeamish about that type it's of so bodily strange. fluid. It's so strange. We all do it. I know I joke that I've never done it in my life, but spoiler alert, we all do it. Yeah. I sure did. And you know what? I was walking out of the garage the other day here at work, and this is one of those, like, Jessica, just stop talking. But... I, I had to pass gas as yeah. I was going, and I did, and it was like a little louder than I expected. And then someone came up the stairs at the same time, and I was like, yeah. I take back everything I said. That is the worst. And I was so embarrassed, yeah. and I'm still embarrassed about it today. So this is me coming clean. What do you think is worse? Farting by far. Okay, fine. By we're far, we're now all close. on the same page. I've come back around. I've Stuff come back around. And, like air goes in and out of your mouth all day. It's just not going the other direction all day long. <laughs> Okay, I just think it's really gross because when you burp, it's whatever you ate last, and it smells specifically so of that. Starting. No, there's like a general. <laughs> okay, we're moving on because apparently I don't want to make the people mad again. What people? The people, Lang. Uh, all twenty of the people watching all the show. 20 this of the, all twenty of Ninety-nine. No. Ninety-nine. <laughs> it's free night. And you CJ, party. you are always <laughs> my number one. one? College football playoff. Yeah. We're, we're not even at 12 teams, teams at? yet. 16, How many teams 14? are we going to do? 157. 99. What they talked about, 14 now? So this 16? is a legitimate report. All yeah. the big guns of college football yeah. come out and say that they are 
socializing the idea right. of a 14 team playoff. I don't really know what socializing means. To me, it looks like we're throwing this out into the yeah. universe and seeing what the general response is. But the 14 team playoff would come in 25. In 2025. Yeah. Instead of. Well, we'd get one year, we of, one year of the 12. 12 team playoff and then immediately go to the 14 team. And it would be structured as. 3-3-2-2-1. Three, three, two, two, so meaning yeah. the SEC and the Big Ten would each get three automatic, automatic qualifiers. The Big 12 and the ACC would get two, and then the group of five would get the best team at one. And there would be three at large. There would also be some, like, um, the SEC and the Big Ten teams would get a bye in the first round, from what I saw. And one of the things, the, the, the champion of the SEC, the champion of the Big Ten, would get a bye in the first round round of the 14 playoff if it yes. gets to that right um we have then, to if they go that route yeah. you have to get rid of conference but, championships but then there's right also this whole thing about like notre dame would be guaranteed uh, entry if they're in the top 14 and th like i but i was like I'm, I'm first of all i'm sick of notre dame let's, yeah like, like let's get rid of this like if you want to be in this make a choice yeah j come on get in a conference yeah. or just get out it's 2024 um like look the more teams the better right and then, like sure. at the end of the day, the more teams we can get into this thing, the better. The more, the more teams, the money. More the more teams, the yeah. more money. The more, more money, interesting. More eyeballs, right. Everything. It's all. It's better to get more teams. We see it in college basketball. Just make put sixty four teams in the college football playoff. Who says put no? Them all in there. Who says no? I don't. I don't mind it. I do think it's a very college football esque problem to be talking about this before we've ever even seen a 12 team yeah. playoff and that's just how college football tends to operate but I'm with you I, I have wanted the 12 team playoff from close to the beginning and now I'd be fine with the 14 play, team playoff yeah. it will be the big winners are the Big 12 and the ACC yeah. for getting two, two teams, and I'm sure there will be a year where the second best team in Georgia Tech makes it. <laughs> or yeah. like, look at this yeah. year with Louisville and Florida State. Yeah. Like Louisville would have gotten in, and we all had to suffer through the ACC championship game and realize, like, oh god, this would be yeah. abysmal. So that'll happen. But it also became crystal clear to me, just again, like evergreen tweet, how awful it is that Memphis didn't end up in the Big 12. Like, it is the worst thing that happened to Memphis yeah. athletics that Memphis did not get in with that group of Houston and UCF and Cincinnati getting to the Big 12 because now look, you just have to be the second best team in that, a yeah. downward Big 12 and now Memphis's only chance is to be the best group of five team and their schedule came out yesterday and I it was just that. such a sad reminder. The home schedule... Like, I want to talk it up. Get out to the Liberty Bowl. There we go. Go out to Simmons Bank and enjoy watching the Memphis Tigers. Can I interest you in? Who's that first team? Penn State. <laughs> no. Oh. It looks like Penn State. I have to I pull it up. That's a line, not a nitly line. Northern, <laughs> Northern Alabama. North. I didn't Northern know we were making Alabamas in the Northern Alabama. part. It's actually just North Alabama. Don't okay. put an, an extra letters onto that. Um, and then they have Troy yeah. at home. Then they will Rice? play. It's the one on the Which 20, one are you looking 28th. for? On the September 20th. I'm looking at the home ones. September 20th. That's Middle Tennessee. Tennessee. That's Tennessee. Middle Tennessee. The Blue Raiders. MTSU. Did you know Derek Mason is the coach there now? Yeah. yeah. I did not. Uh, the 19th is Colorado State or somebody? <laughs> what is that? I can't it's, it's so that's, far. That's North Texas. Texas. That's right. the Mean Green. Charlotte. I want you to just guess all of these now. Yes, now here we go. Charlotte, Rice, UAB are the last ones. The last three home games. What's, who's 11 2? Uh, UTSA. Thank you, Lang, for guessing. No, I thought I was we were having Lang guess. I bad. know on the 28th that there is, it's at Tulane on Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving. Day, is is this cool. our new Thanksgiving rivalry to I'd watch? I'd rather watch that than watch, uh, like, you know, the Detroit Lions play the Bears or something. Like, that's always the game that's on first. <laughs> I wouldn't. Oh. <laughs> You're going to sign up for Memphis Tulane yeah. on Thanksgiving Day? You okay. could go. You're, like, that's a game you could travel to if you, you know. You drive could. Down there, eat some Cajun food, like have a good day. It's one of those things like, could you, but yeah. would you? Probably not. I don't know. The Thanksgiving tailgate would be, yeah, that'd be a, a great fun one, experience. Probably. It's New better Orleans. than. New Orleans is always a good tailgate place. In the yeah. Fall, like, that'd be good weather. Extra good food. Yeah. Okay, I could talk myself into it. Let's Get in the it. car, drive down to New Orleans. Yeah. Well, let's not us do it, but other people could go and You got to take yeah. mom of GCM. You got to take the whole family. I don't want to Do ride. I drive a minivan? No, I don't want to. I've never ride. wanted to drive a minivan. I don't want to ride with you because you might fart in the car. She pees in the pool. She farts in the car. I always roll down the window, please. If you're not rolling down the window, a you're roll. a bad person. Uh, the chat made you the... When you're, when, you're random, when you're driving along, you just randomly push the window down. And, they, <laughs> and someone's like, oh, wow, the Breeze. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chris does that all the time. Yeah. 
Not a word. Also, the wind just blows it in your face depending on the trajectory. That's true. It? Also, what's Memphis's score when they go down to Florida State? Is Mike Norvell nice or does he do the thing where he mm. runs it up? I, I think he runs it up. You have to at this point. Yeah. If you're the, you know, I feel State like he's going to. I, that's what I was going to say. Orange. The sugar or. Whatever it was against Georgia, yeah. I, Georgia ruined Mike Norvell for the rest yeah. of the time. Like, Mike Norvell will never think twice about. Well, destroying a team. Establish some character with that program. Lang, it's always a joy to establish character with you. Our chat question of the day, we haven't said it out loud yet. Will a woman become a head coach in one of the big four leagues in your lifetime? It is the beginning of Women's History Month. With 52% of the vote, yes, but we are still a ways away. 34% of the vote, yes, I think it will happen soon. 12%, who are you people? Not sure if we need women coaching. <laughs> and what's the other option? And the other option is my life is ending soon, so no. I think yeah. I don't know how soon though. I, but I do think yeah. I, I like. What are the big four leagues? The uh, NBA, NBA, NFL, Major League Baseball, and NHL. Oh, NHL. I don't know how close NHL is. I have no idea. Like I don't watch it. Or my immediate are there response. Assistant coaches. In honestly, the I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the answer to that. My gut would be the only one that has a chance is the NBA hmm. because of the path that. Becky Hammond has been yeah. on, who's now in the WNBA, or a Don Staley who's at South Carolina. Yeah. But I do think it's interesting as they Kim continue. Mulkey in the NBA. Kim Mulkey is never coaching great. in the NBA. I think we're really far away still, and we yeah. might never. Like I don't, I don't say that as a women There's can't. Still, like, I, I just struggle to see a future where it there happens. There are a lot more like women assistant coaches <laughs> in the NBA now. Like yes. the, it's become sort of like almost every team has a, a woman mm -hmm. assistant coach and it's sort of normal. Like you don't right. it's not a big deal anymore. No one writes stories about oh this team went out and hired a woman assistant coach now. Yeah, it used to be such a wow, there's a woman yeah. on the bench. But I don't think there's any norm. like women that are the lead assistant coaches in the NBA. I think Becky Hammond got to there was with the, the last Spurs and, and then, then left. And so now I don't think anyone else has a woman as like the lead assistant coach. So like I think there's still probably some path to be traveled along this road but uh but yeah i wouldn't be surprised if it happened i think you'll see more in baseball too like i somebody just this offseason hired a woman yeah. bench coach um i think you're gonna start seeing that more too the nfl has a couple um assistant coaches who yeah. are women now it's nice to see and I, I think it's a very cool changing within the structure of coaching across all four leagues i do wonder on the nba side of things as the wnba continues to rise like yeah. people always have to remember the wnba has been around significantly less time than the nba so through its growth and becky hammond choosing to go coach in the wnba was big would she leave the wnba for a job in the nba at this point would don staley leave south carolina for, for a, a w job, job? Like a, a, a head coach she's not going to oh, take yeah, an assistant yeah. job no. at this point that's past that no. um but, but you mean like would don staley leave south carolina to be a it's sort of like the caitlin clark question right right like would you leave college to become a wnba i love that caitlin clark is leaving yeah iowa not like, I don't love that she's leaving <laughs> Iowa. She has been a but tremendous to thing prove? to nothing, yeah. precisely. And this notion, this very inaccurate notion that, oh, she's going to lose all this money. She's taking a massive pay cut. Her endorsement deals go nowhere. Yeah. And it is a nice transitional period for somebody who has gained so many eyeballs. My dad called me yesterday and said he was watching CNN. And one of the lead block stories was Caitlin Clark. Yeah. And coming up on this game where she can go get Pistol yeah. Pete's record on Sunday against Ohio State. CNN, not ESPN, not Fox Sports, just a CNN story. And if those people go with her to yeah. the WNBA, where she will likely be linking up with Aliyah Boston in Indiana, that's more eyeballs on the W. So, yeah. 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 I'm excited for that team. Aliyah Boston was, was better than I thought as a rookie last year. She was really, really good last year. Was he rookie of the year? I don't remember, but she she stood out last year in a way that I didn't think she was going yeah, to be was. able to handle, like, the physicality of the game. You pair her with Caitlin Clark on the outside, oh, boy, that's mm -hmm. going to be a fun team to watch. Yeah. It'll be Where's interesting. Where's Caitlin Clark from? Iowa. So She was a hometowner. Sticking yeah, in the Big yeah. Ten. Yeah. Don't have to don't have to leave it's Big Ten bit. country. All right, Lang, thank you for joining yep. us on this Friday. We will take a quick break. When we come back, we are drafting outside songs. What does it mean? <laughs> I'll tell you when we come back on the other side. It'll be fun, I promise.
Hey, Grizzlies fans, turn your stadium excitement into betting action at Southland Casino Hotel. As a proud sponsor of the Memphis Grizzlies, Southland brings you more gaming action than ever before. Step onto our massive casino floor stretching more than two and a half football fields. Slot enthusiasts can enjoy more than 2,300 machines from penny slots to high limits and play the hottest games like Aristocrat, Dollar Storm, Cloverlink, and Lightning Cash. Table game aficionados can feel the thrill of the felt with 50 live table games from three card to black blackjack match we're ready to deal you in plus don't miss stadium gaming for an interactive digital experience and for high rollers our high limit room is calling your name go big on six high limit blackjack tables or spin one of our 54 high stakes slot machines throw in eight delicious dining options and a 300 room high rise hotel and there's plenty to keep you going at southland casino hotel the gaming excitement never stops must be 21 plus play responsibly for help quitting call 800-522-4700 Life Care Ambulance is proud to be an official partner of the Memphis Grizzlies and FedEx Forum. At Life Care, they wear their hearts with pride. Their passion is their people. They want you to love what you do and where you do it. Their employee-driven culture encourages a healthy work-life balance and supportive work environment. They invest in your success and well-being so that you can provide the best care for the patients that they serve. Join the incredible team of EMTs and paramedics in Memphis, Nashville, and across the nation today. Learn more at lifecareamb.com. Sauced by Will Smith is taking the championship taste of FedEx Forum. Come enjoy your favorite lineup of sauces on traditional and boneless wings the next time you see the Memphis Grizzlies play. All of your favorite sauces, including the famous Garrick sauce, are now available as you cheer the home team on. Visit Sauced by Will Smith inside FedEx Forum at your next Grizzlies game or come visit us anytime at our location in South Haven, Mississippi. Championship sauce, championship taste. Come get sauced today. That Yeezy 750 is not going to drop. You think so? No, you heard it here first. It's is it because it's hideous? It's not going to drop. That's uh, ugly. Those, no, those, those are actually nice. I want that. I like that one. Mm-hmm. That's what you want? No, they drop. Those yes. Nice. Bottom right? That, that, was that, was yeah, that was the very first one. That was the very first. Yeah, that was the very first one. And they sold out. Fire. And the yeah. box is this big. Yeah, the box is like that. No, they're yeah. nice. They're nice. No, they're, they're nice. nice. I got really nice. I got the, the chocolate pair. They're mm-hmm. nice. Yeah. The Sneak Fest Show, live Tuesdays at 2 p.m. on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app. Jordan Adams, a.k.a. Cheeseburg. We had to get on this weight, man. That boy, that beat, that man, he, man, he body fat was, I want to say about a good 25% body fat, man. That boy, that was riding all outside. You think he likes you calling him Cheeseburg? I don't think he appreciates that. I don't think he appreciates yeah, that. Well, he was my rookie. I get to call him whatever. That's my rookie. So what? The Chris Vernon Show, presented by Caesar Sportsbook, live weekdays at noon on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app. Sonic, Sonic, Sonic. It's peanut butter bacon time. Sonic. Peanut butter bacon time. That's right. Now you can get a deliciously sweet and savory peanut butter bacon cheeseburger shake or double cheeseburger at Sonic. So you know what time it is. Peanut butter bacon. Peanut butter bacon. Now bacon got the crisp. crisp. Peanut butter smooth like Swiss. Is it salty? Is it sweet? sweet. At your friends in the backseat. Sweet. Peanut butter burger. Peanut butter shake. Peanut butter bacon in a burger and a shake. It's peanut butter bacon time at Sonic. Limited time only at participating Sonic drive-ins. Welcome back. Uh, Before we draft outdoor songs, CJ, I have a question for you. One of the things that comes out of NBA Draft Combine is just interesting quotes from players. NFL. Did I say NBA? I'm sorry. NFL. Texas Tech safety Tyler Owens was interviewed at the Combine, and he said, quote, I don't believe in space. I don't think there's other planets and stuff like that. Would you take a player who doesn't believe in space? How many of those do I have in the locker room? Mm. And how good is this player? Right? Like, okay. if you've already got three or four in the NFL locker room, you in the NBA, if you already got one, you, you don't need, you can't have more. You can't have he's more. He's a safety, and his draft projection is undrafted free agent. Oh, yeah, he's not getting drafted at all. <laughs> and it, and he's, not getting, he's not getting a call for me to come into camp. <laughs> Overall rank. 293 position rank yeah. 63. No, but let's let's play pretend like this is a first okay. round safety that, right, that right. said that. Like it's it's all about what I have as a general manager, not just from a skill set, but personality wise. What do I have in the locker room? And if I already got two of those dudes, 
I don't need three of them. Sorry, kid, I can't take you. Yeah, because you can't start having indoctrination classes in the locker room right, where suddenly more people also don't believe in planets. He also thinks flat Earth theories are uh, interesting and have valid points. I'm, I'm a uh, football GM. That means that I want to win football games, and all I want my football players to do on the football field is play football and not talk to one another. Mm -hmm. If I can get that to happen, that would be best. That's the most ideal thing for me as a general manager in sports is, hey, just come in, do your job, and leave. Your dad said, can he play in space on the field? <laughs> That's a good question. That's Does a, he believe in space honestly, on the field? More important question. Maybe he got confused. <laughs> no, because he said planets. Yeah, the planets really the planets give it away. Thing, Maybe yeah. he refers to other players as planets. Maybe. You know? Maybe. Some of those guys are big. I could be a planet. I mean, I would. If you were a planet, what would you be? Uranus. I'm, Why would you set me up like that? Dumb Why question. would you set me up like that? I'd put you on Jupiter, because that's where boys get more stupider. Happy Women's History Month! <laughs> e bow, 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 bow. Let's draft outdoor songs. That, that, that interaction <laughs> took about a week off of my life, I want you to know. I'm going to die a week earlier because of that <laughs> right there. <laughs> You spin, the, spin the damn You could go to Mars and get more candy bars. Okay. Well, I can, we could have just left it at the Uranus joke, but no. Back-to-back -back weeks? Wow. I'm on a streak, baby. Wow. Number one pick. One of one. Peanut butter jelly time, the Sonic commercial. Peanut butter bacon time, Sonic commercial. One of one. Let's go. That's your, that's your number one no. outdoor song? No. <laughs> But, but what if, but what if, if it we were, was? If we were drafting outdoor commercial songs, like if that song came on the radio or came on I wouldn't the hate play, it. playlist. I wouldn't hate it. Because I do not have money for Spotify Premium or Pandora not. Premium or So you're YouTube getting premium. ads amongst so I'm your songs. Ads. If that ad came yeah. on, it would fit the vibe. It's peanut butter, bacon time. It's peanut butter, bacon time. It's peanut butter, bacon. Peanut butter, bacon. Peanut butter, bacon. Yeah, I'm not mad about it. Uh, Because I'm not sure if you'll take one. I'm... I'm I'm not sure if you'll take a Beyonce song, and if you take this Beyonce song, I'd be a, a little disappointed. It's my favorite Beyonce song. I'll take Party. Oh, my God. I had a Beyonce. I was a little nervous there for a second. I'll, I will take Party. We like to party. Uh, but I need, I need both verses. Uh, <laughs> I need Cole's verse because there's one with J. Cole on it. There's another one with Andre 3000 on it. I need both of their verses on, on the song. So, yeah, give me Party, Beyonce. Not, okay. my, not my favorite outdoor song, but I wanted to make sure I got you that because I wasn't sure. Because I know, I know for a fact. You don't have any of the other songs I want. Interesting. I'm shocked. I was worried that I was going to have to take this next one with my number one pick. And I'm still going to take it just in case. With my number one, give me Shaggy Wasn't Me. Okay. When that song comes on and the beginning and the interlude into it, that song makes me want to be outside. I either want to be at a park or at the pool. One of the P's. These are songs that you have at the P's, okay? Pool, park. Patio. Patio slash porch. Okay. Yeah, now it makes sense, right? That's my outside. I was wondering where we were going I with the bees. I knew you were. I knew you were. Yeah, That's good. She got me right-handed, creeping with the girl next door. Dun, 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 dun. This, we were both, around, both, both butt naked, Jessica. Floor. You were butt naked. How could I forget that? Giving, Giving her an extra key. key. All the times we were standing there, she never took her eyes Whoa. off me. No, 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 Okay. I love that song. It's a good, it's a fun song. It's a it's good a, outside right? song. Honestly, I put my, I have a at the beach playlist, mm. which is what I encompass all outdoor music okay. as. And that was the first song that came up today when I press shuffle. So Shaggy wasn't me. We talked about this before the show. Outside encompasses a lot of different things. There are many places outside. Right. And you're not always listening to the same types of music in the outside spaces, right? So if you're at the beach, you're not prop you're not listening to the same types of songs. Some songs do cross over, but you're not listening to the same types of songs that you would like on the porch or in the car with the windows down, the top drop, like that. Yes. There, there's a bit of a difference. So I tried to pick one song from <laughs> every part of outside. And I broke outside down to car, frolic, cookout, slash tailgate, pool, party, and porch. Okay. And what was your I first did. one? What uh, was party Party for? is a frolic. Party is a frolic. Party is okay. a frolic. Okay. In the car, my favorite. <laughs> Miami bass is the best outside genre. 
Don't at me. Don't fight with me about it. Miami-based music, if I'm outside, I need Uncle Luke. Okay. I need 69 Boys. Okay. I need it. Give me Kitty Kitty. Oh, Kitty Kitty. Give it to me. Off of the 69 Boys album, 1990 Quad. Give uh -huh. that to me. Lyrics like, let a brother lick Careful. them paws. Careful. And run his tongue down those G-string draws. Like, give it to me. That's poetry. I, that's Speaking of poetry. Outdoor poetry. Speaking of poetry, they got a nursery rhyme section at the end of the song. Where they sing inappropriate, they rap inappropriate nursery rhymes. It's, it's great. It's great. Little Miss Muffet. Oh, I will. No, no, Lil, no. Oh. Little Miss Muffet sat on the tuffet eating her cream of wheat. She gave me a show. Wouldn't you know that little a freak? Ow. Oh, baby. That's good. Oh, it's great. That's good. It's great. That album, by the way, yes. 1990 Quad, Tootsie Roll, Kitty Kitty. Yeah. Face Down. Like, it's, it's, a, it's, a, good album. it's a bunch of bangers it's on that album. It's a good outdoor album. album. It's a great album. Give it to me. 69 Boys, Kitty Kitty. And that is your... That is my in the car. Miami bass in music car. in the car. Okay. Give it. I need it. I need it. So, so far you have the bass a is rocking, song and in the car song. The, the bass is rocking and you're screaming along with it, rapping along with it. Oh, yeah. And, and you got the rattle at the, the stoplight in the summertime. Yeah, give yeah. it to me. Okay. My, to clarify, outdoor songs to me are 75 degrees and sunny songs with a small breeze in the air. So you're not sweating because the breeze is wiping your beautiful sweat away. It's just like windows down or next to a body of water, any body of water, pick your choice. Or as I said, the peas of the patio, the porch, perhaps a p p park, park. That's where I was going for, park, park, park. Um, all right, with my second pick, I will go, could you be loved, Bob Marley? Do, 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 do. Could you be loved? Patio? beach okay. or specifically in a car on the way to a beach this is in two beach adjacent movies that i love one's not beach adjacent one's is in the ocean blue crush starring the great kate bosworth a surfing movie that made me little colorado girl believe she too could surf on the beautiful i, I can a little a, a petite a little bit um and it's in 50 first dates and it's one of my favorite bob marley songs and just the beat of it is so good it's so could you be loved, baby loved? I also think at the water park in Denver, Colorado, like this is absolutely not a fact, but it felt to me that 99% of the time that you walked into the water park, Bob Marley's Could You Be Loved was playing on the speakers. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Oh, uh, I forgot it was in 50 First Dates. Yeah. That's good. Before I make my yeah. next pick from the hit album 1990 Quad, let's read off some of the, the tracks. Land 69, The Train, Loose Booty, Kitty Kitty, Puddin' Time, Hennessy, uh, Hump in Your Back, Tootsie Roll, Demote, Ding Dong Song, Teeny Weenie, Ten Wangs, and a Bottle of Dom, Ease On Down the Road, oh. Booty Drop, Speaking of the all, Wiz. all Men Are Dogs, Buddy Buddy, and the Tootsie Roll, The Clean Version. Like, that's, that's a banger album. I will take, because I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get this one no matter what, but I'm going to take this okay. one next, because... I know you know Earth, Wind, and Fire songs. Of Earth, Wind, and Fire has a bunch of really, really great songs. They do. A lot of outdoor if songs. I am at a tailgate, which, I, again, I'm outside. Okay. If I'm at a tailgate, the tailgates I go to, mm -hmm. the HBCU type of tailgates, yes. September. September is blasting. September is playing at every. And it was, either, it was either this one or, before I let you go, Frankie Beverly and Maze. Right? Okay. Either one of those songs is the, when I think of tailgate, those are the two songs that pop into my mind immediately. But I'm going to go with uh, September, Earth, Wind, and Fire. It's a great song. Isn't it? Usually, because of the name of it being September, it is my perfect fall outdoor weather song. Like, if it's a nice fall day, do you remember the 21st night of September? Yeah! Good pick, good pick. Hmm, hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right. You've, I have got, about 20, you've got two beach songs. I have about 20 songs listed. Give me a patio song. <laughs> Are all of your songs beach themed? No. Pool themed? Okay. No. Why are you doing that like an evil scientist? Also, you've got to talk. This is an audio thing. I know. I'm so thing. sorry. I'm so sorry. You've I'm, got to say things, I am Jessica. stuck in Give me some of the thoughts. options you are, are looking at. Oh, my God. 
Nelly ride with me. Okay. Good as hell, Lizzo. Lay down, oh, Sally. Liz, Eric Clapton. Brown eye girl, Jimmy Buffett. Okay. I'm gonna go with my third pick. Mm. Soak up the sun, Cheryl Crow. I, I want to soak up the sun. That's a great ride in the car da, song. Da, 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 da. I also like to imagine like little old me and I think the song came out in like the early 2000s and I'm just like in the car blaring out like my friend the communist <laughs> takes his beatings and his I, uh, RV. I, believe it or not I've never been a blonde haired white woman I that, wasn't until I was in my 20s. That song makes me feel like a blonde-haired white woman. Whatever that feeling is, is like that's, that, that's in the song. That's the one. Like, I love that song. Okay. Is it my go? It's your go. My go. I don't have. I hadn't drafted a pool song because I figured you weren't going to take this one. Okay. The so songs I learned in order. Okay. I learned my ABCs first, the Michigan Fight song second, and then this one, Rex and Effects. Rump shaker. All I want to oh, do is I'm a zoom, 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 zoom and a boom, boom. And Just shake your rump. Wow, uh, that's a good one. That's a great the one. The Rileys are on it. Both Teddy that's a great one. and Markel. I didn't know this until I looked it up. Pharrell is a I'm adding contributing that to producer. My, I'm adding that to my it at is, the beach playlist it is a immediately. Great, which, which, whatever body of water you're at, be it pool, beach, on the lake, rump shaker is a great song. Oh, it's have. already in there. Good. As well <laughs> it good. should be. <laughs> You've never, Jacob has never heard Rump Shaker. Oh, Jacob. Are the kids all right? No. Answer, no. Not if, also, the answer is no. Also, Jacob might come from a different America than I come to because Jacob is talking about, oh, outside, like on the boat or at the lake house. <laughs> okay, but you can absolutely, are you kidding me? The girls on the boat are dancing to Rump Shaker. Are they? Yes. Are they swaying to Taylor Swift and Miley Cyrus? Not my girls. <laughs> okay. Oh. Not my white blonde girls. <laughs> Miley Cyrus, yes. New Miley song. Can't wait to talk about it. Okay. Um, that's a great pick. That is a mm, A plus, A plus. All right. Uh, with my, is this my fourth pick? This is my fourth pick. Give me, now you have me in my feelings that I have too many beach songs, but I don't really care. I'm going to do Wouldn't It Be Nice, The Beach Boys. Wouldn't it be nice if we were older, then we, we wouldn't have to wait so long. And wouldn't it be nice to, to, together underneath the da 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 do do do. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice? I had to have one Beach Boys song on my outdoor playlist. Beach Boys is good I could put all the Beach Boys songs. Let's be perfectly clear. Beach Boys is good in the car. Beach Boys, yes. I'm thinking, is good also on the, the, the lake. Beach. On the lake. <laughs> it's at in the, the name. Beach. Oh, uh, yeah, the that's, boys that's, the beach. A, that's a good outdoor. We're not listening to Beach Boys at tailgates, though, right? Like this, you this are, is, but see, then this is where it's like coastal. Oh, like we had Beach Boys rolling at really USC. Do you think they're listening to it at the Grove? No. Okay. Absolutely not. Okay. Um. All right. Jacob does want the world to know he is aware of that song. Okay. Rump shaker, shake it, shake it, baby. Now shake it. She can spend every birthday butt naked. Uh, what a great song. Porch. That's my last one. Okay. I love sitting on the porch outside when it's pleasant out, when it's hot out. I don't mind sweating outside. I don't mind drinking and sweating outside on the porch or on the patio. Okay. Need some blues to listen to, though. Yes. Sure wasn't me, Tyrone Davis. I don't know that song. Uh, you don't. I don't know that song. It's a great song. It's a great song. It is about a man who is very likely cheating on his woman, okay. who gets caught okay. by... Um, the friend of the woman and his whole thing is well did she touch me she saw me but she didn't touch me mm. it wasn't me I still have my hat on my head you can't I didn't leave no draws anywhere I'm still wearing the draws that I left here in like it wasn't me if she the the the, the end sounds of the like hook, a song I drafted the end of the hook yes no 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 yes both both of them <laughs> caught line both wasn't me yeah but okay the 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 hook of the song if she didn't come up and touch me, oh, baby, then it sure wasn't me. Like, it's just such a good porch sitting song as you watch and wave at the people walk by. Give me that one. Last okay. pick. Okay. With my last pick, I'm going to take a song that I love, and then I'm going to tell you a hundred other songs that I would have taken. I don't think anyone loves this song as much as I do, but it represents to me all of them, all Porch, park, 
pool because you can have a nice Corona and lime anywhere. Give me Schwazies, Corona and lime. Baby, will you be my Corona and lime? And I will be your mm, main squeeze. Never heard it. And if your brother don't like my style, we can take it to the streets. And take do what the in the streets? streets? Like know. dance battle? I love that song. Corona and lime. Schwazie, if, you, if you're not about it, become about it. It will make your life better. And then when you hear the beginning of the dun, 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 it's like a very specific intro into the song. If you had me blindfolded and you played that beginning, I said Corona and Lime. Corona and Lime. All right. What are some of your other songs? A uh, couple of California ones back to back. Okay. I'm going back to Cali LL Cool J. Good one. Uh, California T.I. featuring uh, Young Dolph. Yep. Uh, more Money, More Problems. I'm not sure if we are still, how much longer we're going to get to continue to listen to Diddy, but I'm going to soak it all in as, as much <laughs> as possible. Uh, day Drinking, Little Big Town. I enjoy Day Drinking, Little Big Town. Whitney Houston, I Want to Dance with Somebody. TLC, Ain't Great Too one. Proud Great to one. Beg. Rock Steady, The Whispers. Uh, feels Good. Tony, Tony, Tony. Feels mm -hmm. Good. Ink Gorillas. Speaking of Gorillas, uh, Sugar, We're Going Down. Fall Out Boy. Before I let you go, Frankie Beverly and Maze, and Where the Party At, um, Good one, that's on mine too. Jagged Edge featuring Nelly. Okay. Um, all great. My others, Knock Knock, Mac Miller, Put Your Records On, Corin Bailey Ray. Oh! If we were just doing patio songs, it would absolutely oh. make the list. Temperature. A, you, could, you could get that in the car too. I, I love that song. Temperature, Sean Paul. Sean Paul. Oh! You know the right temperature to pick me up from the storm. Because oh, you need to, I like, if you had a pool party at the beach party, on. like, you just need this motion right yeah, here the whole time. A, mm, uh, and you can uh, do that uh, to that song. Uh, 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 uh. Um, are you familiar with the song Sunshine? You're definitely not by Dario G. It's like, sing it. It's, a, it's an electro music song. No. It's six minutes, and I swear to God, it is like, heroin to my veins <laughs> like that song not that i've ever tried it are you sure i promise <laughs> but it's what i assume it would feel like your toes I don't right need... now. between your toes right now <laughs> show the toesies on the first day of women's history let's, month. Go. let's get those numbers up um dreams fleetwood mac one week bare naked ladies other side red hot chili peppers take it easy the eagles don't stop till you get enough michael jackson jack and diane john cougar melon camp stone love pepper steal my sunshine someone in the chat i forget who said it uh steal my sunshine by len that is a top tier outdoor song where you lead carol king wagon wheel darius rucker but it's also a bar song so i don't understand if i enjoy hearing wagon wheel more in the depths of a bar night or outside and then my beyonce song was baby boy Beyonce and Sean Paul. Another Back pool, to the beach, Sean Paul. Beach. And again, it, you just want to, you just, mind. everybody's in their bathing suits a little wet. Fantasy. Is it from the pool water? Is it from the sweat Not of the day? We don't know. We just want to, like, bump ugly. You You're in your little bathing suit. I'm in my trunks. No draws on. We just going to have a little fun. Party in the USA? I didn't think about that. No. I like Party in the USA. As a what? As an everything. Are we listening to Party at the Party in the USA at Tailgate? Hell yeah. We are? Hell yeah. Oh, that's that's a surprising song to me. Windows wow. Down in the Car is Party in the USA. Yes, it works. Yeah, I'll take that back. Yeah. Randall in the chat is banger after banger. Yeah. But uh, I took a pill in Ibiza. It's a good one. Okay. Um, I just had uh, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, Otis Redding. That's like a nice slow outdoor Porch song. song. Yes. yes. Porch or like feet dangling. Into the water. Into the water yep. somewhere. Um. Listen to the music, the Doobie Brothers. Mm. Oh, oh. If I could redraft, I might have taken that over Corona and Lime. That song but you does can't. special things. I can't. And I am committed to Corona and it? Lime forever. Yes. For social media purposes. My team, party, Beyonce. Kitty, kitty. 69 boys. September, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Rump Shaker, Rex in Effect. Sure wasn't me, Tyrone Davis. And you spelled Rex in Effects correctly, Jacob. Shout out. I think he probably looked it up. There ain't no way he put W R E C K X N effect. Yeah? No, he didn't. Okay. My one is It Wasn't Me, Shaggy. Could You Be Loved, Bob Marley, Soak Up the Sun, Cheryl Crow, Wouldn't It Be Nice, Beach Boys, and Corona and Lime. Shwayze. Let's get outside this weekend. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll do a little more music Friday. Uh, some new music out. I know CJ's been listening to some old music. I actually have two. 
and a band that I've rediscovered that has taken over my life over the last couple of days. We'll get you into the weekend, Grizzlies games, Tigers games, all the games when we come back. Take your fandom to the next level with the official Grizzlies app. Go all access and behind the scenes. It's got to be heavy defense. That's where it starts for us. Personalized to where you are and who you are. Get easy access to ticketing, the game day guide, and your own app customization right at your fingertips. Upgrade your experience and download the Grizzlies app today. Let's face it. There's a lot of trash talk in basketball. But the great teams let their performance do the talking. Like Ford F-150 with Pro Power on board. A class-exclusive industry-first feature that turns your truck into a mobile generator and leaves the competition speechless. Ford F-150, official truck of the Grizzlies. Greatness starts here at your Mid-South Ford dealer. Classes full-size pickups under 8,500 pounds, GBWR. It's more fun to be there live to see the Memphis Grizzlies hit the court all season long. From the electricity and FedEx Forum to the highlight reel plays, there's nothing quite like Grizzlies basketball. As the official marketplace of the Memphis Grizzlies, Ticketmaster gets you in with a huge selection of seats. So get off the couch and into the stands while you still can. Score tickets today at Ticketmaster.com. That's Ticketmaster.com. Get back to the grind and cheer on your Memphis Grizzlies at FedEx Forum. Don't miss out on our exclusive student ticket program presented by Big River Steel. Get affordable tickets for all the major showdowns, including matchups against the Lakers, Warriors, Nuggets, Celtics, and more. Sign up today to get alerts about this exclusive deal at grizzlies.com slash students. Anticipate each challenge, make a quick response, capitalize on every opportunity, and win. Greatness won't wait. It's true in basketball. It's true in banking. Grizzlies checking from Pinnacle. Play hard. Bank easy. Open a Grizzlies checking account with at least $100 and a recurring direct deposit by April 30th, and you could receive a $200 direct deposit bonus into your account. Details at grizzliesbanking.com. Member FDIC. I swear, all of those songs that we went through, all the songs that you guys have listed in the chat, and if you're not watching live, I guess leave your favorite songs in the comment section. Oh, yeah, we'll try to do that. Let's see if it works. I don't know. <laughs> also, like the show. Subscribe on YouTube. It helps us more than you know. I could listen to this playlist specifically every day. I should because it has put me in such a good Friday mood. Also because it is Friday. Some other music news to get to. New Music Friday. There is a new Schoolboy Q album that came out. I listened to a couple of the songs, but I haven't had a chance to really dive into it quite yet. So that is on my to-do list this weekend. I also would really like to get out and see Dune 2, but I don't think we're going to have time to see Dune 2 this weekend. We didn't talk about that in Theater Thursday yesterday, but that's the most anticipated movie opening this weekend. And I know you want to get the popcorn bucket, so... Jessica. See, <laughs> I'm joking. Come on. <laughs> Will you grow up and stop making those jokes? I'm joking. It's Women's History Month. You're supposed to be a bit more dignified this month, Did aren't you? Did you see the person in the chat who said, oh, we give a whole month to women now? Of course. Also, you guys were so annoying about not having a month that you've taken Hispanic <laughs> Heritage no. Month. And you've no. taken okay. And you've taken Cola Cancer Awareness Month. Hispanic Heritage Month is in October. Is it? Yes. Do they not get two? They could. They can have as many as they want. We can all have. No, we all can't. February Every month belongs to one group. Everyone month. No, February belongs to one group. You've taken enough from us, Jessica. <laughs> right. I'm not taking. Okay. I would move my birthday if I could. That's how dedicated I am. That's how little you like black people. 
No. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's how much I I want to not take my because I always say February is my birthday month, and now I've adapted. I know. Other Jacob, stop. <laughs> I can hear you. Did you hear his groan? Yes. <laughs> yes. I did. I did hear his groan. Uh, hey, let's do some NBA music crossover. Jimmy Butler is in the new Fallout Boy video. How many people sent this to you, CJ, as a fellow Fallout Boy slash NBA? Nobody. What? Just, yeah, just Jacob. Oh. My, uh, my friends, I, and I can count them on one hand, aren't on social media like that. Uh, that's, that's the thing we don't do. So Much for Stardust is a great song from a is. great album. Getting to see emo Jimmy Butler is, is cool. I love it. And... It all goes back to Jimmy Butler showing up for Miami Heat Media Day with his emo era out and about, the haircut, the mood. A lot of people loved it. It was controversial. We'll call it that. Some people were like, what is Jimmy Butler doing? Now, we see he's in the Fall Out Boy music video. I don't know which came first, the chicken or the egg. Did you see that by any chance? I would assume that it was Jimmy Butler being dressed in an emo. And Fall Out Boy and reached Fall out, out Boy and said, please be in our... Hey, would you like to come in and do the music video? That's my assumption. I don't know if they know each other uh, outside of that. That is that is one of my favorite songs from my favorite album that was released last you year. Um, great song. It's, a, it's the last song. So much for Stardust is the last song. It's really, really good. It's cool to see Jimmy Butler out there relaxing, being in the music video. Also, it's just him. It's just him stunting on him. Yes. Like This is his foray. He's allegedly coming out with an album. Oh he's told God. people that he's writing, wait for it, a country album. So not only do we get a Beyonce country album this year, we might get a Jimmy Butler country album. Cody Johnson don't like that. Mm -hmm. That's not real country. Mm -hmm. That's not real country, Jessica. There was a, when was it? It was an interview with Rolling Stone. Mm -hmm. And he said that he had been in the lab writing and producing country music. He wants to keep his collaborators a surprise. But he said there will be some real artists and songwriters featured. He'd crafted around 45 tracks when that interview was done in October. So we will see when we get the uh, Jimmy Butler country album. Who? What if Jimmy Butler pops up on Beyonce's album? So Beyonce will be a contributor, collaborator. Wait, ooh, ooh. Go ahead. Can we get a Beyonce emo album? Oh, it's coming. She wants Maybe to. Maybe it could be like a rock emo mix. Didn't somebody say rock was next? Yes. Okay. That's the assumption. Yeah. She did dance music. She's doing country music. Mm -hmm. Next could be rock. But I would love, like, punk rock. Okay. And that could give us some emo options. Pick a song off of Punk Goes Pop or Pop Goes Punk. One of those albums. Yeah. Those songs are great. Those albums mm -hmm. are good for outside. Um, just speaking on that. So Jimmy Butler, Beyonce is a contributor. Lil Nas X probably a sure. contributor. Casey Musgrave seems cool. Kane Brown's Black Half probably. Nice little song. Okay. I was trying to, you know, keep it up. Yeah, keep it, keep it black, because those are the people contributing. Sorry, take Casey out. Oh no. Yeah, Casey's white. Oh. Sorry. I was just thinking of like cool country. What do you mean cool? Not real country. Not real I, American music. I'm a fan of cool country. Mm. That's the kind of country music that mm. I like. Mm. If you don't like cool country, fine. Take your old boring country. Oh, Please don't boy. clip this. They'll kill me. Clip it. No, they She's hate me. She's calling Cody. Well, what's his face? A whole country. <laughs> Boring. Get your tickets now for the All Live Matters tour. Uh, new, other new music that came out today. There's a new Miley Cyrus and Pharrell song called Doctor. It's the only song that I listened to this morning. Actually, I listened to the new Casey Musgrave song, and it was lovely. And I listened to the new Miley Cyrus Doctor song. It's great. Miley is Miley's on a tear right now, and the music videos come out with it, and the images from that music video are so fun. She's in a dress very similar to the dress that she wore at the Grammys. She got this little, like, Tina Turner-esque thing going at the moment that I think she sits in a really good place with. We've said her drawing from her godmother, Dolly Parton, has been a really just natural fit for her, and now this, this rock pop version this is straight pop. And I saw on my timeline yesterday, I was so confused because... A story popped up that Miley Cyrus was going to be in the new season of Grey's Anatomy and they were going to use this song, Doctor, and I got got. I obviously got got. This is not real. So repeat after me. 
It doesn't appear that Miley Cyrus is going to be in the new season of Grey's, but some other like international publications saw the same thing I did, and now they have continued. Like, there's a bunch of Spanish tweets saying, per variety, Miley Cyrus is going to be in the new season of Grey's Anatomy, and they're bringing back um, Izzy, which was, why can't I think of her name? 27 Dresses. Um, blonde Grey's Anatomy actress that they were bringing her back to, and people were freaking out, but now there's no traction that that was actually a thing the song rules like it's a great song good good song going into outside, outside music okay. it's i mean it's more like clubby but you could play it outside and have a good time with it yeah absolutely it was an immediate add to my 2024 uh songs I that have, i keep track of so that when we come to the end of the year songs that i enjoy i have nothing on that list so far really yes i've heard nothing that is that there's got to be better stuff coming I have thought that, that it's a little lackluster. Oh, wait, I might, I might have his, his would be on there, outside of his. Like, there's nothing else. So I included the entire T-Pain Live album on it because I discovered it at the beginning of the year, even though it was done in 2023. But I'm calling an audible, and that's my... I've listened to that more than you, Your I name is on the it. show. <laughs> Thank you. You do what you want to do. It's your freaking month. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a, it's a limited list so far. But Dr. Work It Out is on there. 16 Carriages is on there. Drowned by Justin Timberlake is on there. And we did learn that in Justin Timberlake's new album, the first song on his new album is going to be called Memphis. And the last song is going to be a collaboration with NSYNC. In case I already wasn't excited. What are you listening to right now, CJ? I'm, a, I'm listening to the new Meek Mill. Meek Mill is in the news for a lot of things this morning. I don't know if you saw that. But he also sure dropped uh, like a five-track thing. It's fine. The let me look it up. The last the last song on the track features Future on it, and it's pretty good. Oh, it's the uh, giving Chanel. Like, let me say this. I'm tired of the phrase. It's giving blank. That is yep. annoying. I wanted to it's stop giving. It's, it's giving my foot up your ass if you don't stop. Like that's what it's gonna be giving. <laughs> um, but it's <laughs> giving Chanel, and it's it's giving Chanel is is the hook. It's got him and Future on it. Really good, I think. Well, not really good. It's good. It's worth a listen. Um, and then the first song off of the track uh, is he does that that thing that rappers sometimes mm -hmm. do, where the first half of the song starts off one way mm -hmm. and then it pivots and does something else the second right. half. The second part of the first track is really really good. The first part is a little too slow for me. Um, and yeah, so I listen to to that. Do we want to delve into the Meek Mill no. Diddy thing? It's a Meek Mill Dilly Diddy thing, though, so no. Yeah, well, I almost said the other thing. It makes me really sad. I'm not, I haven't caught up with it enough to know the details to speak I mean, it's, on it. But yeah, I've but seen all the jokes that people keep popping off, which, is, let's be clear, it's, it's not funny. At, at a certain point, I think with this situation, not with mm -hmm. Meek Mill, take him out of it, with just the... The, the Diddy the, piece the of it. Diddy piece of yeah. it. Yeah. At a certain point important people are going to look around and say, hey, we've been to a couple of these parties. We've either seen or participated in some of these shenanigans. Uh, you got to take one for the team. You just either got to pay everybody or you got to eat it and do whatever, whatever backlash comes. It's got to be all on you because we can't have you being the one to bring down everybody on this particular part of the, the music industry. That's what I think will happen. Other things I listen to, I uh, went back and listened to Crazy Sexy Cool. And I realized why I like that TLC album so much. Mm. It is crooning by women. Like, they're crooning for yeah. dudes. Yeah. Right? Like, every song, almost every song, take Waterfall out of it. Every other song is, like, come on, baby. Like, I feel like TLC is trying to sing me out of my draws on every single track. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is a really, really uh, good album. It is fun. It is, at times, upbeat. And I just enjoy TLC. I do too. Good Red, Red Light Special is so good. In my so good, like, just just a underrated. great nasty song. How is it underrated? Because I think when I think Crazy Sexy Cool, I'm like you said. I always think Waterfalls. I always think Creep. Yeah. And I think very often, I I am guilty of it. I forget Red Light Special, and then I hear that song, and I'm like, oh, that's a song. That song that's makes good. me feel that, things. Oh boy, <laughs> things are being felt. When Red Light Special comes on. So you've been listening to that. That's a good also. That's oh. a good return. We in our household have been listening to a band called Revolution. 
Are you familiar with Revolution? It's like a reggae rock group. When we were in Austin, we were at a bar and there was a live saxophonist who was playing alongside with a DJ. And Chris and I were the only two people at the bar. And so they asked for like what song we would like to hear. And out of nowhere, Chris just goes, do you know any Revolution? And I was like, what the hell are you asking for right now? But they're a California group. And Chris was like, I don't know, I just thought of it. And ever since, all he's wanted to do is listen to Revolution. And it's great. It's like, you talk about outside music, beachy music, tropical vibes music. Uh, it all very much situates itself in there. Like, I will drive around listening to different Revolution albums. I don't know them well enough to be like, oh, these are the best songs you need to listen to. Just go on a like shuffle. And it, it's a very pleasing to the ear experience oh, so nice. shout out revolution nice i didn't Unexpected know so y'all when y'all were on your not vacation y'all went up <laughs> and made requests i mean we sat at a bar for like 30 minutes where we were the only two people in the bar <laughs> <laughs> the underrated and we were watching we were trying to watch the three-point contest is what we were trying to do at the same time yeah. and the guy with the sax is like what can we play you? And I was like, I really just wanted this big screen. That's why we chose this. I mean, I love a, I love a live play? sax. Why I love you? a live sax. Mm. I like live sax and also. Thank why you. didn't you have him play something to match the, the ambiance for the three-point contest on the screen? Why didn't I ask him to play One Shining Moment? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. like play One Shining Moment while if I If we're going to be scene. completely honest, one of my least favorite things in life is when there's a live band who asks me a instant song recommendation. I freeze and I don't know what to do. I can't come up with anything. I hate it. Just walk around with your summertime, or not summertime, that's yeah, what I'm outside, gonna start doing. I'm just going to press, press shuffle and whatever comes up, that's the song that's I'm the song. going with from the there end of time. All right, everybody. It is Friday. We got two Grizzlies games coming up and a reminder. Truly, very fun giveaways for the Grizzlies Trailblazers games this weekend. Tonight, it is Grizz's birthday to celebrate. It's a little Grizz, so come on early and get yourself this fun little Grizz Funko Pop. And then tomorrow, it's the Jawaiian shirt, the Hawaiian shirt that they did for Steven Adams. I almost said Steven Adams, RIP. He's not dead. He's just not here anymore. But now we have a Ja Morant. Uh, Hawaiian shirt. It's great. It's pink. It's blue. I wore it yesterday. If you missed it, check out yesterday's show. You can see it off the top there, but it's so fun. It has little John Morant faces on it and different John Morant plays as well. It's a great shirt. Why wouldn't you want to come wear a Hawaiian shirt and watch Grizzlies Trailblazers? I don't know. I'll be there. We'll be back on Monday to talk about it all. The Memphis Tigers will have another game before we come back as well. They play UAB on Sunday. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. It is going to be so beautiful on Sunday. Get outside. Listen to your outside music. Have a good one. We'll see you then. Bye. Underrated out. Underrated song off of Crazy Sexy Cool to me. Digging on you. Oh, I love that song. Oh, such a just again, just sing me out my draws, T Boz, please and thank you. Is what? Case of the Fa Is it Case of the Fake People? Case of the Fake People. Yeah, I like that.